on the back it's got the 13 so PG 13 he, he changed his number for that branding which was smart because I think that that is that's super fly This is Eamon, Two Drinks to Talk, and today we're going to do another shoe review. I just got in my new Paul George One Checkmates, so it's the all white with the black uh, Nike Check uh, shoe. Uh, I will post the link of Nike, I got it from Nike.com, so I'll definitely post that in the link. Uh, definitely leave comments all that, uh, hopefully uh, you guys get something out of this review. I haven't opened the box at all, so here we go. Um, Let's see. Obviously, it's Nike.com, so no stress here, no worry here about it being authentic or nothing like that. But definitely uh, gonna walk through the shoe and uh, see what we got. I'm excited, I'm excited. I waited all day to open these shoes. I didn't buy any of the, uh, the other uh, Paul George uh, ones because I, I got a thing, again, white shoes. I like white shoes, so that's what I was focused on. Waiting for this uh, this colorway to come through. Finally did. I, these shoes are very affordable. I can't remember that. I think they listed at one ten. And what's nice is is there's all types of sales. So I think I got a twenty percent sale. So I got them for under hundred dollars. Cannot beat that. And uh, of course they're Paul George's. So he hasn't upped the price yet dramatically. We're gonna put that right here. All right, Paul George, I feel you, man. He got the uh, he got the uh, the blue colorway with the the blue top. Nice little box. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. All right. Uh, so anyway, we're about to uh, look at the shoe, and I'll show you uh, just the whole shoe as much as I can all around the shoe, and from there I'll put it on my feet. Leave comments again. Hope you start subscribing to this channel because again, I'm gonna keep on trying to bring more content. We're still trying to fill out what we're gonna do. So anyway, check out the shoe. All right, so for full disclosure, I'm generally a, a Nike fan. Uh, I, I used to exclusively buy Jordans and I've been expanding my options here. Lately, I've been uh, getting more into the Kobe's. I like the Kobe's, I like the Air Force One. So anyway, but I definitely like the, the white colorway and so I think these, on first glance, are pretty clean because there's something different than I usually buy. Like I said, I haven't bought any PGs, but um, obviously the shoe itself is a very, very clean white shoe. It's got the, uh, it's got the strap, the big strap. That's the big footprint on here, so uh, I won't be taking the strap off very often, but I think that's clean. It's got the Nike Zoom on the bottom. Obviously, the, uh, the transparent bottoms that's clean. I mean, that's just clean. Obviously, it's gonna get dirty, and I'm, I hate that. But I wish it could stay clean forever. Um, so first glance, loving the the look and feel. On the back, it's got the 13, so PG 13. He he changed his number for that branding, which was smart because I think that that is that's super fly. So yeah, PG 13 on the back. It's got the the small Nike check uh, on that side of the shoe, which I didn't even know, but I think that's clean as well. Um, I don't, I'm not big on this material right here, right here. I, I wish it was a little tighter. It's got a little like wrinkles in it. Kind of, it's not wrinkles, but it's just looser or some, something like that. But not a big fan, but it's not a game changer. It's not something I'm mad at. Uh, again, all this transparent stuff right here. I just think that that is so dope. Uh, these strings right here for the uh, strap support, I don't know. I think that they could do something better right there. But again, it doesn't make me upset. I'm just uh, starting to understand the difference between a $200 shoe and a $110 shoe. You know, some of those things are, are the issue, like this right here. Again, it's not bad, it's just not as premium, I don't think, as maybe a Jordan or maybe, you know, the Kobe's. But again, it's unique, it's still dope. I think overall, uh, I'm not mad at the shoe at all. Again, the bottom from the front. I don't know if you can see all of that, but uh, 
You know, I think it's a nice shoe. I think it's a dope shoe. This little pattern here, this little cloth pattern, I think is uh, uh, nice. And so, I uh, haven't even taken, I haven't, literally haven't done anything with these shoes. I just took them out of the box. But uh, this whole tag thing, I'll see how it feels once I put them on. But I don't like my tag to be scrunched up like that. But maybe I'm just being picky because it's a little different. But um, inside, you see the, the Paul George signature and all of that. But uh, I don't know. I mean, I think overall, I'm happy with the purchase. Like I said, I got them 20% off. So I essentially got them for like, it's like 93 bucks or something like that. So it's worth that. Uh, I ain't complaining. It gives me another, another style of shoe to look at. So what I'll do is, is I'll, I'll pan around let you see the whole shoe, but in general I'm feeling it, uh, especially for 93 bucks, I can't complain. I'll be style running those here soon. So, uh, everybody wants to see them on foot, so this is what they look like on foot. Um, I like them. Uh, very, they're interesting. I don't do a lot of straps, but uh, it's a nice shoe. What I will say is, I'm worried about the creases when I walk. That's why I like the fly knit so much. You don't have to worry about the creases. Uh, but another thing is, you know, these feel like I would really like to play basketball in them. Uh, so, you know, if you play basketball and that's what your, your purpose is, I think you'll like these a lot. I'm not sure what I think about them from uh, how they feel from just kind of walking around in them. I don't think they're bad, but uh, I gotta get used to them. The uh, actual soles are a little different than I'm used to, but I'm not gonna knock them. I think that they're, they're nice shoes, especially for the price point. Again, 110 from Nike.com. Uh, I don't know, what do you think? Tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, I like them. Alright, we're going to do a final review. Uh, we're going to give a, a final uh, a score on these shoes using our new shoe scoring system. Two drinks to talk. So yeah, this is Eamon, Two Drinks to Talk. Again, just did a shoe review on the PG1 uh, Checkmate colorway all white, got the transparent soles. Uh, since the last shoe review, we uh, came up with a, a new kind of grading scale, uh, one through five. Uh, obviously, these shoes aren't perfect. They are, what, $110? You can get them at Nike.com. You can check the link below. Um, they're not bad shoes either. Um, but it's tough to grade something like this. And, and I will uh, reserve the right to use .5s and things like that, but um, you know, I'd probably give it a 3.5 um, for the value, maybe I would give it a 4, but um, for the purposes of uh, our current rate consensus system, based on the value of a $110 shoe, based on what you're getting out of this shoe, the way it feels, all those kind of things, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a 3. It's not, a, it's not a great shoe, it's not the best shoe in the world, but it's definitely worth purchasing. Uh, I think that the next line of, of PG, PGs uh, are going to be great, uh, whether he lands uh, in th at the <laughs> Oklahoma Thunder long term or ends up in the Lakers. Obviously, they have, uh, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a big brand in the NBA, so I think he's only going to get better shoes uh, as time goes on. Again, I'm gonna give this shoe a three. My final grade is a, is a three. I think you should cop them strictly because they're $110. You, you can't get better value for that, especially if you're looking to actually hoop in these shoes. They, they, these are shoes I might go to the court with and hoop once my knee feels better. You know, I think the way they uh, are marketing uh, Paul George with his uh, new number 13, I think it's great. I think we're gonna see a lot of good things out of Paul George in the future. So yeah, three, uh, that's it. Two drinks to talk. More, more shoe reviews on the way. Leave comments. Definitely let us know what you think. Subscribe. 
uh, trying to figure out what people want to see. And so uh, definitely check out our other videos and uh, let us know what you think.